around our nearest neighbours in the Alpha Centauri system is underway at the moment. The proposed telescope project will be on the lookout for planets in the star system that's four light years away. NASA just shattered the speed limit of the universe with their latest creation, a game-changing breakthrough that could revolutionize space travel forever. In a world where science fiction often seems to become science fact, it's easy to become desensitized to the incredible technological advancements we witness every day. But when NASA, one of the world's foremost space exploration organizations, makes a stunning announcement about a breakthrough that could fundamentally change the way we understand the universe, it's hard not to sit up and take notice. That's exactly what happened recently when NASA revealed that they've created something so advanced it can supposedly reach light speed, a feat that was once considered impossible. In this video, we'll delve into what this groundbreaking achievement could mean for space exploration, as well as what kind of technological wizardry was required to make it happen. Let's begin with a fundamental question. What exactly is light speed? Light speed is the fastest speed at which anything in the universe can travel. In a vacuum, light speed is measured to be approximately 299,792,458 meters per second or about 670,616,629 miles per hour. That's an incredibly fast speed, and it's one that has long been thought to be impossible to reach or exceed. To put it into perspective, light can travel around the Earth's equator seven and a half times in just one second. This means that anything that can reach the speed of light would be able to travel from the Earth to the Moon in just over a second, and from the Earth to the Sun in about eight minutes. The reason why light speed is considered a universal speed limit is because anything that travels faster than it would require an infinite amount of energy. That's why it's such a big deal that NASA claims to have created something that can reach light speed. If true, it would be a game changer for space exploration and open up whole new avenues of scientific discovery. We know that NASA has been at the forefront of space exploration for over 60 years, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe and developing new technologies to enable us to explore beyond our own planet. One area of research that has received a lot of attention in recent years is the development of propulsion systems that could allow us to travel at or near the speed of light. One of the main challenges of interstellar travel is the vast distances between the stars. Even with our current technology, it would take tens of thousands of years to reach the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri. This is where the concept of faster-than-light travel becomes particularly intriguing, as it could potentially allow us to explore other star systems in a matter of years or even months. In the context of space travel, propulsion systems are used to move spacecraft and satellites into orbit, change their trajectory, and maneuver them through space. There are several types of propulsion systems used in space travel, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. One such system being studied is called the Alcubierre Warp Drive, which is based on the idea of warping space-time around a spacecraft to propel it faster than the speed of light, while the spacecraft itself remains stationary within the warp bubble. The way it works is by creating a bubble of distorted space-time in front of the spacecraft and another bubble behind it. The spacecraft would then ride this wave of warped space-time, essentially surfing through the cosmos at superluminal, faster than light speeds without ever actually breaking the speed of light. This means that the craft would appear to be stationary within the bubble while the bubble itself moves at a high speed. The warp bubble would be created by manipulating the geometry of space-time using a large amount of negative energy, also known as exotic matter. The amount of exotic matter required to create the warp bubble would be immense, and it's still unclear if it's even possible to generate enough negative energy to make this kind of propulsion system a reality. There are also some potential issues with the Alcubierre warp drive. One concern is that the amount of energy required to create and sustain the warp bubble would be enormous, potentially requiring more energy than is available in the entire universe. Additionally, the high energy particles that would be encountered along the way could create dangerous radiation that could harm the spacecraft and its crew. That being said, there are some propulsion systems that NASA is studying that could potentially help us get closer to the speed of light in the future. One of the most promising of these is nuclear fusion, which involves fusing together the nuclei of lightweight atoms such as hydrogen to create energy. One of the main advantages of nuclear fusion as a propulsion system is that it has the potential to provide a nearly limitless source of energy. 
The fuel for nuclear fusion, such as deuterium and tritium, is abundant in space and could be used to power spacecraft for long-duration missions. However, there are still many technical challenges that must be overcome before nuclear fusion can be used as a practical propulsion system. One of the main challenges is that nuclear fusion requires extremely high temperatures and pressures to initiate the reaction. NASA has been working on developing experimental reactors, such as the Compact Fusion Neutron Source, that can generate these conditions in a controlled environment. Another challenge is that nuclear fusion reactors currently consume more energy than they produce, so it is not yet a sustainable source of energy. NASA is working on developing advanced reactor designs and materials that can increase the efficiency of the fusion reaction and reduce the amount of energy needed to sustain it. Despite these challenges, NASA is optimistic about the potential of nuclear fusion as a propulsion system for space travel. In addition to providing a nearly limitless source of energy, nuclear fusion could also reduce the amount of fuel needed for long-duration missions, making it a more sustainable and cost-effective option for space exploration. Additionally, NASA has been exploring the possibility of using antimatter as a propulsion system for space travel. Antimatter is the opposite of normal matter and is composed of antiparticles, such as antiprotons and positrons, that have the same mass as their corresponding particles but opposite charge. One of the main advantages of antimatter as a propulsion system is that it has the potential to provide a tremendous amount of energy. When antimatter comes into contact with normal matter, it annihilates releasing energy in the form of gamma rays. This process could be harnessed to provide thrust for a spacecraft. However, there are significant technical challenges that must be overcome before antimatter propulsion can become a practical option for space travel. One of the main challenges is producing and storing antimatter. Antimatter is extremely rare in the universe and is difficult and expensive to produce. Additionally, storing antimatter requires advanced technology as it must be contained in a magnetic field to prevent it from coming into contact with normal matter. Despite these challenges, NASA is continuing to study antimatter as a potential propulsion system for space travel. In addition to providing a tremendous amount of energy, antimatter could also reduce the amount of fuel needed for long-duration missions, making it a more sustainable and cost-effective option for space exploration. NASA is currently conducting research on antimatter production and storage, as well as studying the feasibility of using antimatter as a propulsion system for spacecraft. While there is still much work to be done, the potential benefits of antimatter propulsion make it an exciting area of research for the future of space travel. If NASA were to create a spacecraft capable of reaching the speed of light, it would be a monumental achievement that could revolutionize our understanding of the universe and open up entirely new possibilities for space exploration. However, it's important to note that the laws of physics as we currently understand them suggest that traveling at the speed of light is impossible. So let's explore what could happen if NASA were able to overcome these limitations and create a spacecraft that could travel at this incredible speed. First and foremost, reaching the speed of light would allow us to explore the universe in ways that are currently impossible. The nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, is over four light years away, which means it would take us over four years to reach it traveling at the speed of light. This may not seem like a short journey, but when you consider that it would take tens of thousands of years to reach Alpha Centauri with our current technology, it becomes clear just how transformative light speed travel could be. Traveling at the speed of light would also allow us to study celestial objects in much greater detail than we can with current technology. For example, we could observe planets orbiting distant stars in real time, allowing us to study their composition, atmosphere, and potential for supporting life. We could also study distant galaxies and black holes, unlocking some of the biggest mysteries of the universe. However, there are also significant challenges and potential consequences that must be considered if we were able to create a spacecraft capable of traveling at the speed of light. One major challenge is the amount of energy required to reach this incredible speed. As an object approaches the speed of light, its mass increases which means that an enormous amount of energy is needed to accelerate it to this speed. To put it into perspective, let's consider the energy required to accelerate a 1 kilogram object to the speed of light. According to Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared, the energy required would be approximately 9 times 10 to the 16th power joules. This is an incredibly large amount of energy, equivalent to the output of a large nuclear power plant for several years. 
Another potential challenge is the effect of time dilation. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, as an object approaches the speed of light, time slows down for that object relative to a stationary observer. This means that if a spacecraft were traveling at the speed of light for a period of time, it would experience time much more slowly than a stationary observer on Earth. For example, if a spacecraft were to travel at the speed of light for one year, it would experience only a few seconds of time, while a stationary observer on Earth would experience a full year. This could have significant implications for the crew of the spacecraft, who would experience time very differently than their loved ones on Earth. In addition to these challenges, there are also potential consequences of traveling at the speed of light that we cannot currently predict with certainty. For example, it is possible that the high energy levels associated with traveling at this speed could create new particles or have other unexpected effects on the spacecraft and crew. Despite these challenges and potential consequences, the ability to travel at the speed of light would be a truly transformative achievement for humanity. It would allow us to explore the universe in ways we can currently only dream of, unlocking new knowledge and advancing our understanding of the universe. It could also pave the way for entirely new technologies and industries, such as space tourism and asteroid mining. In conclusion, if NASA were able to create a spacecraft capable of traveling at the speed of light, it would be a remarkable achievement that could have far-reaching consequences for our understanding of the universe and our ability to explore it. However, it is important to approach this challenge with caution and carefully consider the potential challenges. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about NASA's groundbreaking research to achieve light speed? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one. You guys.